YouTube shorts are gonna be really big really quickly and we need to be able to produce them and edit them really fast. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step how to make a YouTube short using a MacBook using iMovie. And the premise of YouTube shorts, if you aren't aware, is that they're a short under 60 second video. That's kind of YouTube's competition to IGTV and to TikTok. And it has to be formatted vertically by a nine by 16 ratio. Here is everything you need to know about how to make a YouTube short in iMovie. From beginning to end, let's go through and actually make a video in iMovie optimized for YouTube shorts. And like I said, YouTube shorts are gonna be the wave of the future. They're gonna be big there and YouTube is really gonna be pushing YouTube shorts. And iMovie is ideal for creating really quick content. iMovie is not the greatest editing software for movies but it is really good at getting things out really quick. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that from inception of creating this video to actually getting it on YouTube and how to opt optimize it on YouTube. The formatting of this is not as simple as it seems because it does have to be vertically formatted and YouTube is not gonna recognize it as a shorts unless it is the right aspect ratio. So assuming that you already have your videos downloaded from videos that you took with your phone, I use a Pixel 2 XL, so I just took these and downloaded them from Google Photos onto my desktop into a folder. And let's, uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make a video that I am making for a brand new YouTube channel that I just started yesterday. And I'm gonna be optimizing it for YouTube. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I finished my video completely from beginning to end. Just a few notes to make here. You can see that it's under one minute. I would really aim to get it at most at 58 seconds because sometimes YouTube will add on a second or two to it and then YouTube might not recognize it as short. So just keep it within 58 seconds and you'll be perfectly fine. So these videos are all uh, cropped. If you go to one of the clips and then go to the cropped icon, I put it to fit and I'm gonna show you exactly how to format this because right now, if you do it, if you fit it like that, this is not the correct ratio as it is. This is actually 16 by nine ratio. What we need is a nine by 16. And I have a really cool trick for you that's gonna make this really easy. You're not gonna need any software, uh, uh, third party software or websites to convert it to the right vertical format. So just a few notes before we get to that. This, so it's under one minute. I've put in these images, which I highly recommend for Schwartz just because it kind of makes it a little more punchy. Here we go. It makes it a little bit more interesting when, when the viewers are, are watching it, you know. So basically I'm doing a review about this bike trailer that I got, which is really fun for my kids. Check out that channel if you want. And so these are PNG files that I created really simply using Canva. I went to canva.com and I actually, let me show you. They're right here. So I made these files. They're just using text uh, that I, that I'm, put into the into the iMovie file and then this subscriber thing here uh, and then I went to download I come transparent this so by the way if in Canva you have to have a pro account to use transparent background or you can use whatever software you use you know Photoshop whatever I like Canva uh, I think it's really worth getting the pro subscription just because I use it for all kinds of things personal things business work and uh, yeah, if you want uh, a link to that, I'll put it in the description below. And so I also made this, so after I c downloaded the transparent background file, and as you can see, I made it the right format or the right pixels, which is, yeah, nine by 16. And I downloaded it, I, you just add it here, and this is actually really cool, is that YouTube Shorts, when you actually play it, it's gonna, when you when you watch YouTube short in the new format that YouTube's developed, you'll see that they put a subscri subscribe button and you know likes, comments, uh, all that kind of descriptive information about the video right here at the, the bottom kind of quadrant of this video. So it's really important that you don't cover this or have any important content like text or arrows or anything like that 
in this kind of area at the bottom here. So uh, at the end of this video, I just said, you know, if you want to subscribe, go ahead. If you want to give a thumbs up, go ahead. And I just put some arrows down there pointing to the subscribe button. Now, YouTube Shorts are really great for getting subscribers. It's not really meant for monetization because I believe right now YouTube has not allowed for monetization on YouTube Shorts, but they're excellent for getting subscribers and for getting views. So uh, always, I would really recommend putting some kind of subscribe text here, you know, put your website there if you want, and that'll let you uh, do that. So how did I input these in here? If I just drag that PNG file onto here, and when you drag a PNG file into iMovie, it's gonna kind of, if you just put it above that, that clip there, it's gonna have, it's not gonna show properly. So you need to click on that, and then you need to change this option here to picture in picture, so that it kind of knows that it's, you know, anyways. So that, it the transparent background actually shows up here. So you just drag that there, you can, it, iMovie makes it pretty easy, it kind of gives you a little indication that it's in the center. And so I move it around a bit, make sure it's centered, it's good click out of it make sure it's okay look at that awesome look at that that's great so right now it's using this like fade in dissolve out feature I don't really like that I want to be a little more punchy so I'm gonna click it again I'm gonna I'm gonna take off this dissolve to make it zero seconds so it just like pops up it's just a little more cool like BAM look at that subscribe okay so that's how you drag a transparent background text thing into so this is really ideal ideal because you know iMovie has really limited things in terms of titles. I don't like using any of these. They're not really customizable, flexible, or anything like that. But Canva is great. You can you can add simple text there. I'm going to delete that because I don't want it. And so there you go. It's under one minute. It's perfect. It's the best I could do with you know a short amount of time. This next part is actually very important, and the reason is because if you just download it right now as it is, if you export this 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 uh, movie, it's going to show up as this. It's going to show up as this aspect ratio, which is sixteen by nine. So a cool way to do this, my friends, is to go ahead and select all. You can command all, command A, select all of your clips, and then go up to this this uh, cropping icon here and look at this you can f I'm gonna flip it check it out I'm gonna flip it on its side so it's gonna tell iMovie that it's, it's it's sideways and then I'm going to export it like that here we go I'm gonna go to file I'm gonna go to share I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna export it make sure you have the highest resolution that you can you can muster for this video and I'm gonna go next, and then it's going to download to my desktop. Now that was pretty quick because it's only a one minute file, a very small file. So I just export it to my, do to my desktop. I'm gonna exit out of that. And there it is right there. Okay, so there it is. As you can see, that is obviously not what we want in terms of the thing, but this is cool. Just click on it or open it in, in QuickTime Player and just go to edit look at this rotate left bam that's the wrong direction <laughs> okay rotate right back and then rotate right look at that and i'm going to save that so you can save it as a new file name it whatever you want i was like that it's going to save as bike trailer there we go okay so it saved it in the right format look at that excellent Fantastic. I'm just going to check the properties of it. Command I to make sure if I look at the dimensions, that is the exact dimensions that I like. I'm loving that. So now we're going to go ahead and put it on YouTube. So I'm going to go over to YouTube, my YouTube channel that I just made. I'm going to select a file to upload. It's going to be this guy here. So what YouTube has stated about explicitly about YouTube Shorts, this new project that they just recently announced a few weeks ago, is that in order to for the YouTube algorithm to recognize it as a short, it has to, number one, be the right vertical format. Number two, it has to have the hashtag Shorts tag in the, in the title 
or it can be in the description. They said either or. I'm gonna put it in both just to be safe and also just to let viewers know in the title so viewers know that it's a short and also people reading this description know that it's a short, okay? So write the description, write whatever it is that you want. And regarding thumbnails, it's not essential to have a thumbnail, mainly because YouTube is, if you're watching a short, it doesn't even have a thumbnail. But if you're watching on a desktop, it's helpful to have a short. So I'm gonna upload a uh, thumbnail that I made also in Canva just now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and publish that. Okay, so I just published this video and you can see from the sidebars here that this is the right format, it's looking good. It's got the shorts hashtag in the title, in the description, and we are in business. This is what YouTube will like.